What's up YouTube, it's your boy Crafty and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Uh, so today's episode we have got our first no, 19 games of Foot Champs over the weekend. Uh, played 9 on Friday and tried to get 31 games in Sunday like we did last week. Bit of a mistake if I'm honest, but we'll come on to that later in the video. So start as we mean to go on guys, stick a big old thumbs up on the video for me if you like it. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Uh, so guys, we're going to get into today's video. I'm just showing you the teams we got here. Um, same teams as last week, I believe. There was a change a little bit way, a uh, little part way through where um, I thought Insigne out on the wing was getting bullied a little bit. So we brought in um, Balde Diaw um, to kind of switch up things. Now, what I want to talk about today is formation, team, confusion, players. Is it worth upgrading? There's so much I want to talk about and I'm probably going to forget bits. Um, so if I do, then I'll, I'll follow that up in the next episode. Bit of a shout. Rewards on Thursday. I'm getting to a point now where I don't know whether to keep rewards back for team of the season. Um, I need to, to think a little bit about how we're going to do that because that would be a nice idea. Um, but yeah, stick around. Make sure you watch the rewards on Thursday because I'm probably going to come up with some decisions I'd like your opinion on, what we're going to do with the team, players to buy, things to do, whether we go back to one team or not. So my thought process behind basically, well, at the moment, what's going through my head is whether to go back to one team or not. Um, the reason being because... We're, we're stamping on people, but when we come up against some of these real big teams where they've got the Ronaldos and the Messis and everything, or, you know, sort of wonder teams like this, um, you know, we're not far from a, a team like this, but, you know, we're coming up against the big teams. We are starting to struggle because our players just quite, can't, aren't quite on a par with them. So we need to address that. And what I found a lot this weekend, you know, we've been talking about switching up formation in game if what you're doing isn't working for you, a different way of breaking down your opponent. Now, a lot of what happening more time, you know, probably more often than not, I was changing to the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow in game. Um, but I was doing it when we weren't winning or, you know, we were drawing or we conceded a goal um, rather than doing it straight from kickoff. So it's making me think if I just play that formation straight from kickoff, we may have a better result um, when it comes to, to actually playing the games. And instead of having a tough game, we could have, you know, been 2-3-0 up, uh, you know, before opponents got a chance to, to get, get away and have shots on goal. So, yeah, it's making me really question what, what we want to do and where we want to go with this account. Um, I really want to pick up some team of the season players. Um, so we want to make sure we've got coins to do that. We've got Lukaku, he's got to be, I mean, depending on what happens the last couple of weekend. well, no, it's just this weekend, actually, isn't it? So depending on what happens this weekend with um, the Premier League, depends on who's going to get team of the year, uh, sorry, team of the year, player of the month. Um, I think it's going to be Lukaku. He hasn't had one yet. He's been awesome all season. Um, he scored a lot of goals th this month. Um, obviously, we've had internationals. So I should imagine if he has a good game this weekend, it's definitely going to be Lukaku, in which case it's going to be an expensive one. Um, and I'd quite like to try him um, because what I'm finding, kind of a segue brings me on to my next point, is strength. I'm, I'm struggling with strength. When I'm through with, with strikers, um, Akadi and Lacazette, um, I'm trying to hold off the defender and I'm just getting bullied off the ball and it's really frustrating. My door just creepily opening there. Um, yeah, I'm really struggling with it and it's starting to get to me a little bit. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to do about it. And it's frustrating because I was looking at the in-game stats and Icardi's got like 88 strength, 90 strength on the, on the card I've got. Now... He, that's the same as Smalling. So Smalling's trying to bully him. He should be able to hold Smalling off quite easy. That isn't happening. People like Gomez, who's got really low strength, is, is holding people off sometimes. And I, I don't quite get it. I had Neymar bullying me all weekend where I just couldn't push him off the ball. I, I just, I don't get what this, this strength's all about. And, you know, I don't know if it's something that's broken in game. Um, But the strength on the card doesn't necessarily relate to the player. 
Um, Suarez has got the exact same strength as uh, Lacazette, but Suarez is holding off players better than Lacazette. All right, he's a tad taller, but that shouldn't be the only reason. And it's just becoming really, really frustrating to the point where, you know, I'm feeling that our strikers, you know, especially in this formation, um, aren't really getting the job done like they were a few weeks ago. So they're good for holding off the, the holding up the ball and, and kind of laying it off. But once they get through, you know, they've kind of got the pace just, um, but they haven't got the strength to hold off the players. So we really need to address that. Um, so yeah, again, I, I don't know what to do. Like I want to pick up that Suarez because people, he was just destroying me all weekend. Um, but I don't know how to fit him into a team. I see. I'd like to try Neymar out and then swap to the uh the four one two one two and then play Neymar as a can. But if we do that, uh, he's got quite low stamina, so he's going to need need to be subbed off straight away. And then what what sort of team do we build around that? Because I can build the left side and the right side, but not quite how I want it. So we could go Suarez, Neymar, this with a narrow formation, and then go down to Modric, Alba, Ramos, De Gea, and Net Smalling. You know, Walker or something like that. Ali, um, maybe Walker up top and play Walcott and Suarez up front, and then Neymar behind. But it's who we put in that midfield spot. Um, so yeah, going to be interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to do. If I'm honest with you, so your help would be much appreciated. As always, leave your comments in the comment section below, and I will address them. I will always listen to you guys, and I just need a bit of advice. What would you guys do? Are you still running with one team? Are you running with two? Um, yeah, I just need, I need a bit of help, a bit of guidance. I think what happens with Foot Birthday will heavily decide on where we go and where we take this account. Depending on what players, uh, you know, kind of pop up, um, or heavily depend on kind of where we go. And, you know, I've really enjoyed these two teams and we, we proved they're good enough to hit elite. Um, so yeah, it's, it may be time to change, change it up a little bit, try something new and, and trying to have fun with some more players because we've been a little bit stagnant with the players, but, um, we really wanted to kind of hit elite. So that was kind of our goal really. Um, we've done that. We've hit elite for the monthlies. There's nothing else really for us to do, kind of, um, unless we, you know, top 100 or something. But, you know, we've been in the top 100. When, when, I don't think we're ever going to finish there, With um, especially being in Europe. It's really tough. So, yeah, we, we've kind of capped and peaked, I suppose, on, the, on this account to a certain degree. So it's just a matter of playing with some different players to make it more fun. But are the players actually worth it so i was looking at um i was looking at the grading cardi to his, his next card basically and his stats are so similar with the fact i got hunter on because he needs that pace increase because his pace isn't good enough so he's got one more pace on his upgraded card um so if you put hunter on him He's got basically one more pace and all his stats max out to 99 or whatever. And the card I've got does the same anyway, apart from long shots, which are a little bit off. So we have slightly improved long shots, you know, slightly improved dribbling, slightly improved uh, passing and physical and defending. But in in, in the kind of point and the context, the one I've got is worth about 60,000 and the upgraded ones, you know, 180, 200,000. So... Is it even worth upgrading? I don't think it is. And it comes to a point where, unless the stats are heavily built in other areas, upgrading is kind of pointless. Um, I don't, I'm not, you know, explaining myself particularly well, but, the, you know, if you're putting hunters uh, and things on your players, they, with that extra boost, they're going to reach a cap. You know, you can't go above 99. So, you know, say if... You've got Hunter on a, a player that's got nine, you know, basically ninety shooting on every stat. That will go to ninety nine. Say they bring out a newer version with him with better shooting on this card, then you know there's no point upgrading. Yes, they have slightly better dribbling and things like that, but it's it's upgraded so little. It's kind of work, you know, pointless. Um, so yeah, it, it it's kind of one of them really. So it gets to a point is when do you stop upgrading? Um, I was looking at the Higuain card, is it a 93 rated or whatever, 92 rated? And um, again, like, he needs that 
he needs basically the the speed boost you know the the pace increase because he's not fast enough putting hunter on him would be pointless because he's already got 99 finishing like 99 uh, 95 shot power and stuff like that um so yeah you'd probably put like a catalyst on him to improve his passing or something like that um so yeah he's going to be his passing is going to be better his shooting will be just the same as my akari that i've already got um his dribbling slightly better but his agility is not as high, so he probably won't feel as fast. He's got three star, three star instead of uh, a four star weak foot of a cardi. So it's just like, well, who do I upgrade to? You know, um, there's no one really there for me to upgrade to. So yeah, it's, it's kind of one of them really. Um, unless you know you've got that massive pace increase, and then you can put these chemistry styles somewhere else and improve their dribbling or something else. You know, dribbling and physical could be nice if you've got a really pacey um, striker with good finishing. But that's not really an option with the players that are about. So yeah, it's becoming a little frustrating to upgrade because there's no sort of areas we can upgrade at the moment. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what team of the season brings. And um, yeah, I really need to find out when, when that's dropping, to be fair, because uh, what I want to do is save all my packs from now until then and then do basically a team of the season pack opening. Um, it's going to be our only chance to pack anyone decent. We don't, you know, we haven't really packed a walkout, guys, on this account. It's just, it, it, to be honest, it's starting to like frustrate me a little bit. You know, you, you see so many other Road to Glories have good pack luck, you know, um, you know, not not necessarily anyone amazing, but I've seen people pack Pogba, I've seen people pack Informs and Walkouts, and it's just so frustrating, you know, people that don't finish as high as we do in Foot Champs in their silver awards are, are pulling um, Walkouts, and it, it's just so frustrating, and it's getting to the point where it's starting to grind a little bit, and our elite rewards were, were terrible, um, so yeah. Yeah, but that's enough of me moaning. Um, you see here we pick up Baudi Diaw. Like I said earlier, Insigne just felt his dribbling's amazing, but his physical just lets him down a little bit. Um, sometimes he can get through, but not all the time. So I was looking for that sort of physical player, and uh, I thought I'd try that. But I really missed his uh, dribbling because Diaw's is just not as good. He doesn't feel as nimble. Obviously, being a little bit taller and things, you, you kind of get that. So, yeah, we ended up, I think we ended up selling him. Um, you'll see a player I've bought in. And uh, we've made quite a lot of profit off bronze cards with the, um, is it the Saudi League or whatever? So you saw us sell quite a lot of them. And, uh, yeah, slowly just making a, a profit and our way back up. We lost some coins and some players. Uh, because informed versions of the players we bought came out literally the, the the week after, so that was pretty frustrating. Casemiro's a level one; he's got like sixty four pace, and uh, he was like outpacing like Nangolan and things like that. So I just don't get these the stats. Um, yeah, I get like dribbling with the ball and not dribbling with the ball. There's a difference, but when there's that much of a gap. You know, even if he had shadow, I've got catalyst on my nine Golan, so I should be twenty pace points faster than him, and uh, so he should not be catching me up even if I am running with the ball. But yeah, just uh, just a little bit frustrated. I don't really understand how the how the game's working at the moment. But uh, yeah, you see that Suarez destroying us in that game. That's why I really want to pick him up, but I just can't fit him into a team. So yeah, with teams we we could start with the four one two one two, um, a bit like this guy here. And basically build a team that kind of gets chemistry that style. We could use a 4-3-2-1, um, you know, with the narrow wingers and then change it in game. I'd, to be honest, it's, it's annoying changing in game, having to start, stop, change all the custom tactics and things like that. Um, so, yeah, maybe maybe it's something we do, something we don't. And uh, it's a little bit harder to get chemistry sometimes without just going for the boring old uh, strong links. So... Yeah, yeah, I don't really know what to do and where to go with this account. To give you an idea, guys, we started really badly. So we just talk a little bit about foot champs now. I've finished my rant. But um, yeah, anything to say on the matter, guys, put it in the comment section below and I'll address it in the next video. But um, yeah, so we, we won our first game and then lost two on the bounce. So it was actually one, uh, one win and two losses. We really turned it around to the point where... I believe, I think it's after this game, we end up winning 13 
of our first, yeah, 13 of our first 16 games. So we only lost three in our first 16 games, which was pretty impressive. And I think we pick up a win against this guy here as well um, to make it 14 out of 17. So yeah, really impressive start. Things just start to go downhill for, from, from then on, really. I tried to play 31 games on um, on the Sunday again, but this time I didn't have enough time on the Sunday to be able to kind of do it leisurely and throughout the whole day. So, yeah, it's just one of those things. I didn't actually end up finishing all 40 games. I stopped at 36. A few reasons for that, um, which I'll explain in the next video because uh, I don't want to kind of give away exactly where we finish, but yeah, there's a few reasons behind it, mainly because I was just tired of, I've just felt like knackered this last week, I don't know whether it's just like work and driving and um, doing this and being busy at the weekends and trying to fit foot champs in and then edit constantly and record throughout the week, I don't know what it is, but yeah, feeling a little bit jaded guys, so if the, uh, if the Road to Glories this week have been a little bit dull, uh, my apologies, there should be back to normal next week when I uh, have had a chance to rest, although I've got a really busy weekend again this weekend. So um going to watch Man United, actually. I'm a Palace fan, but got tickets to go see Man United West Brom. Um, so going to do that on Saturday, so that should be fun. And then Sunday, I've got to go down to, to Somerset, so uh, basically head office. I've uh, got a meeting on Monday. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of my weekend, so get foot champs in and foot birthday is going to be a real struggle this weekend um so yeah probably next week i'm going to be even more tired um but yeah hopefully we can have a rest soon have a little bit of a break and um yeah just get back to normal get back to a routine um although we do have a holiday booked in april so maybe that won't happen maybe that won't happen guys but yeah just going to keep the content rolling no matter what um, and you can see here a lot kind of top, a couple of tough games uh, to kind of end the episode. You see Neymar there getting through, and I wanted to put some of the clips in. Um, and it was to be fair, it's my fault this game. You know, I was getting tired. You can see it in my gameplay. Um, just throwing the ball out. I think I do it twice in this game and lose the ball. But um, yeah, kind of frustrating. Jovinko has been really good for me off the bench recently. I, I really struggled with him um, to begin with, but he's been scoring a lot for me off the bench, uh, just starting to figure out what he can do. Because mainly, you know, he only comes on off the bench in tough games, so I don't get to try, uh, try him out that much and actually find out what he can do. But um, yeah, fair play to my opponent here. He was the better opponent, but I kind of threw away the game. Uh, but that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Um, if you liked it, stick a like on it. If you're new around here, please subscribe. But until next time, guys, take care. Peace.